How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to fix one of the most annoying iPhone issues of them all, which is Face ID not working. So if you have this problem, if you have this issue, you're probably seeing a screen like that where it says Face ID is not available, try setting up Face ID later, or even a screen like that where you can actually open up the camera and when the process is about to start, when the setup process for Face ID is about to begin, it just doesn't proceed because it shows a message like that, move iPhone a little lower or a little higher, as you can see, position your face within the frame. And even if you do, even if you position it correctly, it just won't go past this step. So it's stuck right here or even like that, as you can see, so you just can't set up your Face ID Face ID is simply not working. So, as I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that, how you can actually make Face ID work, okay? So, let's begin. And the first thing you're recommended to do is go ahead and open up your settings, and then you're going to scroll down a little bit until you see General, and then Software Update. That's right, it's super common that sometimes your Face ID is not working just because you're running an old version of iOS, your iOS is outdated and you have a bug or something, and then you just go ahead, update your iOS, and then that's it, it fixes the problem. So if you see any software update, as you can see right here, just go ahead, download and install it, and make sure you're running the latest available version of iOS, okay? So that's tip number one, which in a lot of cases will already fix the problem. But of course, sometimes it won't. Sometimes even updating won't do the thing. So what I do recommend you to do is to physically check the Face ID region right here. So have a look at your notch, as you can see right here, that houses all your Face ID sensors, the true depth camera, and all of that. So take a look here and see if you have something physically blocking it. Sometimes you have a screen protector and it's just blocking the sensor. So I do recommend that if you have a screen protector that actually goes on top, of your notch, of your Face ID sensors, I do recommend that you remove that screen protector and you go ahead and test it out. Also, take a look at this region, the top region right here is dirty. This is another very common thing. Sometimes we use a case for many months, sometimes for years, and then there's just a lot of dirt and debris and it's just dirty and it accumulates right here. And sometimes just because of this big amount of dirt and residue, then Face ID doesn't work. So go ahead, give it a good clean and just make sure there's nothing in front of your notch, in front of your sensors. No screen protector, no dirt, no anything like that. Make sure it's like mine, clean and pristine. Now, if that doesn't fix either, what I recommend you to do is to restart your iPhone. So go ahead and actually restart it. So turn off and turn back on. So what you're gonna need to do is press the side button right here and the volume down or volume up at the same time, okay? So press and hold both. And then you're gonna slide your power off. So actually turn off. Sometimes again, we use our iPhone for months without turning them off. It happens, it's common. So uh, this may cause some problems. So you can go ahead and restart it right now. Just press and hold your side button until you see your Apple logo. So uh, as I said, sometimes it's the little things, sometimes it's the easy things that actually will do the thing. So wait for it to restart, put your passcode and test it out once again. Now, if that doesn't work either, then we're gonna need to go ahead and open our settings and then we can come back here to the first screen of our settings, scroll down until you see face ID and passcode and we're gonna need to type in the passcode once again and then tap on done. And then we have here all of our face ID options. And what I recommend you to do from start is if you already have a face ID recorded on your iPhone, just reset it. So sometimes we have a previous uh, Face ID registration, okay, on our iPhone. So what I recommend you to do is to simply reset Face ID. So as you can see here, I have reset it, so everything is turned off. So it's as if I've never used Face ID ever, okay? And now try and set it up once again. Okay, now that's reset, 
try and set up once again. So it's your normal process of set up Face ID and then see if it works, okay? So get started and then position your face as you can see right there, perfect. And then I'm gonna do the process. So you know the process and if you get to this part, it means that it worked because it's working now. I can use Face ID with a mask and then once again, and then I'm gonna do the process and then if you go with, as I said, if you get to this stage, it means that it has worked, okay? So Face ID is now set, done, the issue is fixed. But of course, even after all of that, it may not work. You Maybe you couldn't get to that step you got the same error, the same problem, saying it was not available or lower your face or something like that. So maybe even after all that, it didn't fix. And so we have one final step. But before we move on to the final step, I have to talk about one thing that's pretty important, which are those lights that you may have seen when I was using Face ID to register my face. You may have seen some lights blinking right here and you saw those lights and you're maybe thinking, okay, that's the problem because I see the lights on your iPhone, but I don't see on mine. So it means that my face ID is broken. And no, guys, those lights that you're seeing here are just seen through the camera, the camera right here. I'm not seeing any lights here from my naked eye in real life. I'm not seeing those lights. OK, so those lights just show through the camera. So that's not the problem. If you don't see flashing lights on your face ID, I don't see them on mine either you're not supposed to see with a human eye, okay? So just to be clear. Now, the final step, the final thing you can do, and that is resetting your iPhone, completely formatting your iPhone. So what you're gonna do here is go to the first page of your settings, scroll down until you see general, and then scroll down once again until you see transfer or reset iPhone, and then erase all content and settings. And right here, we're gonna actually reset our iPhone. We're gonna erase the iPhone. But before you move on, please make sure that you have a backup. It's super important that you have a backup because when you continue with this, it's actually gonna erase everything. Your iPhone is gonna be completely blank as if it's open out of the box for the first time, brand new. So this is super important. If you don't know how to perform a iPhone backup, I do recommend that you check this video right here. I teach step-by-step -step how to do an iCloud backup or a computer backup, you name it, okay? But it's super important that you back up your iPhone. And so after you have your backup, you go ahead, erase it, and then you're gonna completely reset the iPhone and reinstall iOS from scratch. And so, if you do everything that I show you in this video and still your face ID is not working, is not available, even after all that, it means that you don't have a software problem because we've tried everything software wise to fix the face ID thing. So if it was a bug, if it was a problem, it would have been fixed. So if after all that, you still have the problem, as I said, this is not software anymore it means that you have a hardware issue. It means that something here in your face ID is actually broken or malfunctioning. So a camera, a sensor, something is physically broken right here that can't be fixed through software, so at home. So in order to fix it, you're actually gonna need to take it to Apple. So go ahead, contact Apple or take it to an Apple store and they'll see what they can do. That's it, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.